Welcome back to Tech Rants. My name is Q, and we're going to talk about this Apple event today. I'm not going to go into details about everything. We're just going to go over a quick overview. I'll tell you my thoughts and opinions, and yeah, we'll just have a friendly discussion. Stay tuned. Before we get started, if you like the content, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe, share, tell your friends, all the other good stuff. And if you really, really love the content, please consider making a donation via Cash App at dollar sign The Tech Ranch Show. That's dollar sign T-H-E-T-E-C-H-R-A-N-T-S-S-H-O-W. All right. Donations are not required, but are greatly appreciated. So. We just wrapped up the Apple event probably about a little less than a half hour ago, give or take. And I watched it majority through. And I gotta say, they came up with some features that were groundbreaking. And then, you know, a couple of things that we never heard about, that we didn't know about, but they showed it to us. And yeah, I have an opinion. So, let's talk about the Apple Watch. That's what they started off with. So, you have the Apple Watch 8, you have the SE, and you have the Apple Watch Ultra. So, the Apple Watch 8 starts at $399 for the Wi-Fi version, $499 for the cellular. And it offers pretty much the same features, except now it can help women track their menstrual cycles and their ovulation, along with some other features. Um, and it has some improved safety features. And I think now it connects with satellites. So pretty good. They lowered the prices. So I think that's really good. The SE, they put the same chip in it that's found in the Series 8. Uh, and they pretty much, you know, just left some features out. Starts at 249 and it goes to 299 for the cellular model. So that's pretty good. Then it was these Ultimate that came out with the, or the Ultra, the I, Apple Watch Ultra. Now that was something interesting. So we never heard about this. Well, at least I didn't hear about it. It starts at 799 Well, actually, they all start at 799 And basically what happens is... It's a diving computer, uh, and it's made so you can go in the water, uh, you can go diving, you can go in the desert, you go to the mountains, you can go extreme cold, extreme hot, and it's supposed it's so military grade protected and just all this other good stuff. And I thought it's it's pretty cool. I mean, if you are somebody that likes to travel, I know some guys uh, you know that like to travel. Uh, they like to hurry, they like to storm chase, stuff like that. And, you know, some hurricanes and stuff are popping up here soon. Uh, you know, you'll be hearing about it. Um, it's been pretty quiet now, but, you know, it usually gets started towards the end of the month, uh, October, whatever. So if you like storm chase, you like to travel around the desert, mountains, and all the other stuff, this might be perfect for you. So, yeah, so the Apple Watch was cool. I mean, you know, um, I might pick myself up an Apple. I'm not going to pick myself up the Ultimate or the Ultra or whatever it's called, but I probably will pick up the SE or something like that, just to experience. I don't really need, you know, nothing too fancy. So, we'll, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the AirPods. They talked about the AirPods. Um, I'm not a big AirPods person, um, you know, so they have personalized spatial. Uh, they do have a specialized uh, spatial audio, personalized spatial audio feature. Uh, noise cancellation is a lot better, longer battery life. A better synchronization to your iPhone and your Apple Watch. Um, I'm not sure what the price of those start. I kind of missed that one, and I should have did the research before I came up here, but uh, it is what it is. You can Google that for yourself. Uh, but then we talk about the iPhones. And I know this is what most people were thinking about. Like I said, the Apple Watch, I really think it was cool, uh, whatever have you, but uh, the Apple Watch, I mean the iPhones. This is something that we've all been waiting for. So Apple did it. They did something that, that they have never done uh, that what well, that's never been done by any other manufacturer. So they finally did do it. They put the same SOC in the 
iPhone 14 that was in the iPhone 13. And the reason for this, they said, is the iPhone 13 Pro is right now the still most powerful smartphone out there. So why not just put the same internals? I think they probably boost the RAM, probably put the same battery life. So with the, I think what they did, because they didn't say nothing about the 120 hertz refresh rate, nothing like that as far as I know. I could be wrong, but I don't think they, I don't think they did. But basically, they put the same battery, if I had to guess, they put the same battery that was in the iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, Pro and Pro Max, and put it in the iPhone 14 and 14 uh, Plus. So, same chip. The only major difference is they did some improvements to the camera. Uh, the front camera now has autofocus, and then they have something new with video mode. With the video, it's called action mode, where it uses a full sensor to capture the video. And now. The iPhones have the 14 and the 14 for all the iPhones have the ability to connect via satellite. So right now you can reach emergency services via satellite and they're going to give it to you free for two years. Some partnership that Apple has. And this will also be good since it's already capable of connecting the satellite. When this whole partnership that T-Mobile has with Starlink comes available in, you know, next year or whatever. That it'll already be ready. So I do think that that's innovation. Uh, at the moment, I don't think of, I can't think of any Android phones that can connect to a satellite. So this is kind of groundbreaking with uh, the iPhones. So that it is good to see. Um, now they talk about this, how you know the watch and all this and the phones can detect have crash detection. This is not groundbreaking. I mean, the Pixel Six, I think, was the first. Oh, I'm sorry, the Pixel. 4a was probably the first phone to detect crash to have crash detection so uh this is not new but you know apple has to take a feature and they improve on it and now it's going to become mainstream so it is what it is but so yeah so back to the iphones the iphone 14 yeah and 14 pro mac i mean the 14 or 14 plus so the 14 plus has a 6.7 inch display like i said same a15 chip the gpu is supposed to be a little bit faster and a little bit better the uh, batteries, I think they just put the same, you know, like I said, they took the 13 Pro, put it in the 14, and then the 13 Pro Max battery and put it in the 14 Plus. I could be wrong, uh, but we will see. So once uh, they break down the battery sizes of these phones, uh, then I'll be able to know. And if, it's, if that's the case, and if I'm right, the 14 Max will have exceptional battery life because it has the same battery as the 14, uh, I mean, the 13 Pro Max, it doesn't have 120 hertz refresh rate. That battery life is going to be even better. And I, th I, that right there. So to answer you guys' question, as far as me getting the 14, uh, the iPhone 14, at, at the moment, no. A lot would have to happen for me to get that. And strictly I'm saying this because it's the same chip. You know, yeah, the RAM is going to be a little bit better, but I don't see a reason to upgrade and I just, as a matter of fact, I put a face, I put a, a, a post on Facebook, um, and basically what it says, and shout out to Flossie Carter, because uh, I know he's probably going to say this as well. If you buy the iPhone 14 and you have an iPhone 13, congratulations, your name is officially Jimmy two times, but same damn phone twice, and you're just looking stupid. But that's just my personal opinion. But if battery life is your main concern, and I'm, my exceptions, my assumptions are correct about the iPhone 14 Plus and, 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 and you know, the battery, the 14 Plus would definitely be the phone to get. But as of right now, I don't see a reason to get the 14 or the 14 Plus. Now, the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, they did not jack up the price. So we were concerned about this. We said that they were going to jack up the price. They kept it at $999 and $1099. And they said they put in a bigger battery. We have the 120 hertz adaptive rate. And we have... We have an always-on display. So for all of you that were waiting for an always-on display, they finally brought one to the Pro models. So along with the satellite function, a 48-megapixel rear main camera. Uh, finally did that with the main camera, 48 megapixels. And yeah, this is, you know, Apple, they, they, they got to do what works for them. So I'm not impressed with the specs. It's kind of what we knew. I was hoping 
that people were wrong about putting the same chip and the new phone and all that. And then I said, yeah, if they would have did that, I would have just said, yeah, let me get the iPhone 14. I'm, I'm kind of excited. But with that being the case, it's just not. It's just not. So I don't know. Um, I'm very curious to see how this is going to go out. I'm, you know, I'm very interested to see the reviews. At the, as of the moment, I'm not about picking up either one. I might get that 14 Max. Uh, I'm sorry, the 14 Plus. But at the moment, I'm sticking to what I got. The iPhone 13 is a tremendous phone. The fact that they use the A15 chip, they know it is. So I feel like my 13 is still going to be supported for another year because they've got the same chip in it. And so it just extends it out. So I, I'm good. So once I pay this off uh, next year or whatever, I'm good. And I may not, like, I, I don't know. I don't see a point of upgrading as of the moment. So when can you get all this? So the watch and the AirPods, you can pre-order today. And it'll be available next Friday, the 16th. The iPhone 14, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max, you can pre-order today. Uh, sorry, you can pre-order on Friday. So Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. And it'll be to you on the 16th of September. The 14 Plus, they're going to make you wait for that. So you can pre-order that on some, uh, Friday, but it will not be delivered to your door till October 7th. So kind of curious on why they're doing that, uh, but it is what it is. And then the iOS 16, um, I'm not going to go through all the features. There's plenty of videos out there. You can go watch that for yourselves. I will do a review on iOS 16 and how I like it. That is coming out September 12th, so Monday. So I'm going to post this video today, uh, September 7th. So it will be out five days from now. So, yeah. Um, overall, though, I'm kind of excited for the watches. The watches were cool. You know, yeah, the Apple Watch is, you know, the, the selling point. You know, it's a good selling point. It's a good complement to your iPhone. The, the 14 and 14 Pro Max is pretty exciting. You know, finally got the always on display. Da 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 da. They didn't say nothing about reverse wireless charging and things like that. I think that they would have did that. They would have been had a very steep competitor, but they didn't. Um, and the fact that they can connect to satellites, uh, you know, you can make an emergency call even if you don't have cell phone service. That is something pretty good. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention uh, before you guys jump in the comments and kill me. They, this phone, the, the 14s, none of them will have the the SIM tray. There's no more physical SIM tray, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. It's all going to be eSIM. Now, me personally, I have an iPhone 13. I use an eSIM already, so this isn't a big deal to me. I feel like an eSIM is a little bit more convenient. Uh, you just transfer your plan over. So, yeah. So, 14 starts at 799. iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm mean, sorry. Let's do this right. iPhone 14, 799. 14 Plus, 899. 14 Pro, 999. 14 Pro Max, 1099. Apple Watch SE, 249 for the cell uh, for the Wi-Fi, 299 for the cellular. Uh, Apple Watch 8, 399 for the Wi-Fi, 499 for the cellular. Apple Watch Ultra, all models, 799. AirPods, I don't know. I missed that part iOS 16 releases on September 12th. All right? So, if this was helpful, informative, or entertaining anyway, leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Are you guys getting the iPhone 14? Uh, you know, if you so, why, why not? Uh, subscribe, tell your friends, share, tell, you know, all that good stuff. Make donations via Cash App. And I will catch you guys on the next one later. Stay blessed. Peace.